welcome back welcome back to another video and this is very very exciting right behind me you can see drinkers and feeders all set up and ready to receive their birds and we are finally ready here to start our poultry farm all right so the birds are coming at the age of um four weeks okay they are about one month old and today we've finalized uh darkening the whole place you can see we've put some uh plastic you know covers everywhere there's a big reason why we do that this is not what i wanted to do but because the birds are not yet be they, they have not yet been debit so we needed to make sure the room is really dark okay i'm gonna replace these nylons with uh, maybe uh, some 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 other materials that will allow um more air to pass through it but right now the aeration is good i've been uh, i'm right here in the house um feeling the temperature is really good at this time of the hour okay this is this is a little bit uh late uh let's say it's about 10 o'clock at night but um during the day i'm pretty sure it will be a little bit warm okay uh, since the birds are one month old, that's not going to be really um, terrible or really bad. But we have to make sure uh, we um, reduce the temperature of these birds as they are growing. Okay. So one of the ways to do that uh, and still keeping the room dark is um, to use, uh, what's the name again? To use cloth, okay, cloth that will allow air to pass through instead of nylons. Okay, so because we have to do this thing really quickly and we can completely run out of budget, out of cash, so we have to go the cheap way. This is just to show you that whatever um, uh, challenges that you face, you still you should still be able to uh, push yourself forward. Okay, okay. Now I'm gonna um show you or tell you why we have to duck in this house. Okay, you know the birds when they start um pecking one another that pecking continues it's always good to prevent it than to cure pecking okay so one of the reason why they peck one another is if they have too much of light and if where they're from their place is really dark so they've been just uh finishing their brooding and their room is still very dark so if we bring them right here to this farm and expose them to too much of lighting they'll be really stressed on top of the stress that they will endure when they are, are being transported from the farm, the farm that they are right now, to this farm. So we cannot add that stress to uh, the stress of um, having a bright light in their house. So they've been, like I said, they've been used to uh, the dark environment. So we have to make sure we imitate that environment as much as we can. So we have to make sure we cover. So we covered everywhere to make sure the room is dark. Okay uh it was really be, a little bit lighter okay during the day but um after we came here again and then uh uh, uh went back to the farm and see that okay the farm is much brighter or oh, sorry much darker than we have it right here so we said we cannot take any chances because when once they start pecking one another oh my god that's gonna be really really serious okay and we've not had a lot of experience yet so we are learning from this there's a false poultry house we've ever built a false poultry we are ever ever doing and this is where or this is why we are doing all these videos for you so that you can also learn from us all right so what we have here all right if you look closer you can see this water or oh, this water right here is a bit yellowish okay this is the drinker and this is the feeder the feeder is currently empty because the feeds are coming with the bat we're gonna be uh we bought the feed from the seller of the bat and now when the bats are coming they will come with the feed so we're gonna fix the feed but as you're transporting the bats you'll have to make sure that they have um, water ready so that when you offload them from their cartons they will rush and look for water because they really really need to uh, drink right after you offload them okay so in their drink the reason why it is yellow is uh, we put anti-stress okay I'm gonna show you that on a different video so yeah we use anti-stress on this if let me see if I can get it right here okay great so that's the anti-stress okay it's called alessaria double s so this is what we used to uh, mix in the uh, water so uh 
yeah i'm gonna go get back into uh, the nice place this is a little bit rough so this is uh, uh the uh, rest of their house or the poultry house so um the reason why we have to have uh, to cut it half is uh the the birds uh, are young okay they are just uh four weeks old that is about a month old so we cannot give them all this space if not the foods that they eat they will be using that energy to be running around okay you have to restrict their movement sorry about that light reflection behind me so you have to limit their uh, movement but at, at the same time you still have to give them enough space wherever if they want to move around they should be able to move around freely but if you give them all this room okay this room is about 15 uh, by 11 meters this is too much for thousand bars at the age of one month okay so that's why we had to cut it here half or to segment it into half so this place we did not um uh, distribute the the um what's it again the ground sales yet because people will be walking all, all around here coming in and out to give them feed and water so we don't want to expose the ground cells to any kind of sickness or any kind of dirt that will get the bad sick all right so we have to park them right here at the corner so when we are to um expand this section or this partition we're gonna be um, moving wow yeah we're gonna be moving this down uh, and then spread it out here so that uh, the bats will will um, get ready to occupy the whole space okay so um yeah getting back into the house so we have to space this evenly you have to space uh all these drinkers and um feeders evenly so after every feeder you can see we have a feed right, so you can see we have a feeder right here and next to it is a drinker a feeder a drinker and a feeder so we did that so that um anytime a bat is feeding right here in the water will be re really close to it it can just turn and start drinking and if it wants to feed further it can just continue their feeding so we should make sure we have enough um uh, feeders and drinkers in the house so that they will not be stressed and be um struggling to have a place to feed okay so uh yeah we're gonna start with this uh, i think we have about 15 feeders and 15 drinkers here uh so we're gonna start with that and monitor them if we see that okay they are crowding uh or they are getting crowded at a feeder or a drinker we will add more okay we don't just want to use all that all at once we had 20 for each of each of these but at full uh, when they get fully matured at the age of maybe four or five months we have to make sure we have about 30 minimum but we're gonna target about 35 okay yeah about 32 yeah maybe 30 30 should be fine yeah so that's what i wanted to show you in this video and i hope you're enjoying this video you're also learning from um yeah all that we're doing here so if we run into any um uh, anything that we needed to do some adjustment we're gonna also be showing you so that you can avoid it so um if you are interested in poultry farming or anything here in the gambia just make sure the business that are here in the gambia just make sure you hit that subscribe button and we'll be updating you as much as we can see you in another video